Hello learners, last time we talked about the basic laws of library and information science. Today we will focus on various information sources which we use. The presentation will cover information sources, types of information sources, under that documentary sources, non-documentary sources and their various examples. Information as we all know is data that is timely, context specific which gives meaning and relevance. It leads in better understanding of things. Information, if located at right time, reduces uncertainty. It is important because it may help in making better decisions. Information may be stored and transported or communicated. Information sources are those sources from where we get information. These can be documents, man-to-man -man interaction, institutions, mass media like newspapers, radio and television, sources on internet and so on. There are different categories of information sources, documentary sources, non-documentary sources. All recorded sources of information are called documentary sources. These may be published or unpublished, in print or in electronic form. The examples of documentary sources are books, periodicals, magazines, maps, documentary films, internet, etc. Documentary sources can be further categorized based on their information content and physical form. These are documentary sources which are categorized by content and documentary sources can be categorized by their form. Documentary sources, all recorded sources of information are organized into basic and fundamental categories based on their information content. These are primary sources, secondary and tertiary sources of information. Primary sources are those sources which have original information and which have been published, reported or recorded for the first time. Primary sources include raw data, new interpretation of previously known facts or ideas, any new observation or experiment. It is the first hand account of the event or experiment or observation which has been done and data collected. Such sources are usually created soon after the event or observation has been made. Examples of primary sources, periodicals or journals, newspapers, technical reports, thesis and dissertations, conference papers, patents and standards. Periodicals or journals. The term periodical, serial and journal are used interchangeably in the library context. These may be academic or scholarly journals. Periodical, in fact, is a broad term which means anything that is published periodically. It could be newspapers, magazines, newsletters or journals. Periodicals or journals, they are current, most research, recent research within the subject of the journal. Scholarly journal articles are important in all academic subject areas. There are print journals which are delivered to subscribers, libraries subscribe uh, print journals too, and some print journals or some journals are open access and make all their content available for free. Some journals allow authors to keep a copy of their articles online in a repository and one can usually find them through Google Scholar. Periodicals or journals, they are published at regular frequencies or at regular intervals. Periodicals may be published weekly, fortnightly, monthly, bi-monthly, annually or bi-annually. The screenshot shows homepage of EPW. It is published every week. Economic and Political Weekly, it focuses on different issues which have social, political and economic relevance and this journal is published weekly. The screenshot shows the home page of Current Science. It is a fortnightly journal of research. This is the screenshot shows home page of another journal uh, which is published by Neskia and the name of the journal is Journal of Scientific and Industrial Research. Its frequency is monthly, that means it is published monthly. This screenshot shows another home page of journal Annals of Library and Information Studies. This is published quarterly. Journals, 
or periodicals, they are known as scholarly journals because they publish scholarly articles. Scholarly articles are written by scholars who are experts in their subject areas, written for scholars, which means the authors will cover advanced complex content in the common language of that subject area. Articles are peer reviewed and peer reviewed scholarly books are also there which are known as monographs. These are published by university presses and have many of the same identifying characteristics as scholarly articles. They are full of direct evidence in the form of data. Magazines. Magazines have articles on current issues and events within a few days to a few months of publications. Magazines provide news and editorials about current and important social, economic and political events. There are magazines also have non-scholarly articles about topics of interest to the general public. There are print magazines which have their digital counterparts as well. You individuals can subscribe to print magazines and libraries also subscribe to print magazines for the users. Some magazines have an online presence, but access to all older articles may require a subscription. The screen shows the cover of India Today magazine, which is a popular magazine. This the screen shows the home page of India Today, which is also a magazine and provides information. Then another source of information is newspapers. Newspapers, they are also known as dailies because they are published daily. They provide information about current events. They provide editorials. Print newspapers are delivered to homes and libraries. Many newspapers have an online presence, but access to older articles may require a subscription. The screen shows various newspapers which are published from India. We have Hindu, Navbharat Times, Virat Webhav, the Pioneer Times of India and so on and so forth. The Speaking Tree, which is another newspaper, but it is published weekly. It focuses on different aspects. That means it publishes topics related to social, economic, political importance. It focuses on topics pertaining to spirituality, health and well-being. Then after newspapers, besides newspapers, another source which we have is technical reports. A technical report is a document that describes the process, progress or results of technical or scientific research or the state of technical or scientific research problems. It might, the report might also include recommendations and conclusions of the research. We have thesis and dissertations. A thesis or dissertation is a document submitted in support of candidature for an academic degree or professional qualification presenting the author's research and findings. We have conference papers. Conference papers refer to articles which are written for a conference. Conference may be organized annually or biannually. Paper may deal with a specific topic where researchers may present the results to the community usually as an oral presentation, a poster presentation or a table discussion. Conference papers are typically published in collections called proceedings. Sometimes these are printed by university presses, by professional organizations, by big name publishers or at times organizers of the conferences simply put conference papers online. We have patents and standards. Patents provide incentives for research and development and facilitate knowledge transfers. Standards ensure the rapid diffusion of technologies and the interoperability between products. After primary sources, we have secondary sources. Secondary sources of information are mostly dependent upon primary sources of information for their existence. They usually present the contents of primary documents in condensed form. Information from primary sources is organized in secondary sources of information. Based on the reorganization of information in these sources, the secondary sources can be grouped under four, four broad types. We may have indexing and abstracting journals. There are textbooks, surveys, reference books, and technical translation. 
Abstracting and indexing services unlock the content of scientific journal articles and ebooks using metadata and abstracts. In doing so, they contribute significantly to the use of scientific literature. The metadata presented in abstracting and indexing services include the title, author, date of publication, journal title, volume and issue, page numbers, subject areas, keywords, and digital object identifier. Users browse these services using particular search criteria and relevant articles are shown, chapters or books with metadata, abstracts, and there are links which are provided to the full text. The screenshot shows home page of Indian Science Abstract. Indian Science Abstract is a semi-monthly abstracting journal which has been reporting scientific work done in India since 1965. Original research articles, short communication, review articles, and informative articles published in current scientific and technical periodicals, proceedings of conferences and symposia, monographs and other publications, as well as patents, standards, and theses are reported in Indian Science Abstracts. On the screen, you can see the homepage of Indian Science Abstract, which is published by Niskia. This is another abstracting service, which is known as LISA. LISA stands for Library and Information Science Abstracts. LISA currently abstracts over 440 periodicals from more than 68 countries and in more than 20 different languages. The subject coverage of LISA is artificial intelligence. It covers book reviews, CD-ROMs, computer science application, applications, information centers, information management, information science, information storage, information technology, internet technology, knowledge management, librarianship, and so on and so forth. And under secondary sources, monographs are also included. Monographs are based on research on a topic. Their content is not as recent as journal articles, but monographs may address a whole subject rather than just a piece of it. Monographs are very important in humanities and social sciences. Monographs are primarily available through academic libraries. Some are in print and e-books are also available. In monographs, information may be two or three years old. Just like with journals, readers may look for the most recent date in the bibliography of monographs, and that should tell them around when authors were researching and writing. Experimental data, observational data, maybe which the authors gather or which the authors collect may be a year or two old. If a monograph is published in 2018 and readers locate that it has the latest reference of 2015, it means that the authors researched till 2015 and after that they started to write. Monographs reveal state of the art in fields of mathematical research that have acquired the maturity needed for such a treatment. They are sufficiently self-contained for the specialist of the subject and sufficiently comprehensive to remain valuable references for many years to come. The screenshot shows monographs, Springer monographs in mathematics, reference sources. Print reference sources often have annual updates, so the information in them should be only about a year old. Online reference sources may be updated continuously. Many statistical resources have older data because it takes long time to organize it all. Historical resources summarize and synthesize established knowledge rather than keeping up with the newest findings. Summary and synthesis of what is known about a topic, materials to be referred to, for example, facts and figures, dates, names, measurements, statistics, quotations, instructions, definitions, explanation, charts, graphs, diagrams, maps, etc. These are all covered. Information related to all these aspects is covered in various reference resources. Reference resources may be available as books or series of books. They may be purchased by users. They can be found in reference sections of public and academic libraries. Not all print reference sources are books. For example, there are maps which are also considered as a reference source. 
More and more reference resources are available in online format these days and they become less and less linear. They provide links and include multimedia. Online reference resources are available through specialized library databases and there are also many of them available on the web. This screenshot, this, uh, you can see on the screen, it shows, it provides information about India Reference Annual, which is an annual reference resource, and it, it is published by Publications Division of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. It is also published in Hindi. You can see it on the screen, Bharat 2018. It is brought out by Publications Division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. It is a comprehensive and authentic reference annual it encompasses all aspects of development activities of the government of India, from rural to urban, industry to agriculture, finances to infrastructure, art and culture, science and technology, human resource development, and mass communication. This reference source includes diary of important events, brief introductions of the states and union territories, constitutional amendments, and many other aspects of Polity. There is an exclusive chapter introducing Indian states and union territories with their vital statistics, population, polity, land and people. There is another reference source which is available online and it is known as Credo Online Reference Service. This reference source includes many encyclopedias, subject encyclopedias and handbooks. Textbooks, they are also, textbooks are another source of secondary source information. Information on a topic is arranged in such a way that a beginner can acquire knowledge about that topic systematically. Textbooks are meant to be used as a part of course. These are usually written so that they are complete and understandable on their own. Textbooks may have supplemental material like questions to guide reading or quizzes as well as accompanying multimedia material. Some e-textbooks are also available and they integrate multimedia. Reference books are those books which are used for reference or consultation and they are not for continuous reading. This type of source provide reference sources or reference books they provide answers to factual queries, statistical information and background information on a special or general subject. The examples of reference sources are dictionaries, encyclopedias, directories, air books, maps and atlases. These sources are used for finding out facts on a topic. These sources often have subject headings in alphabetical order for finding or locating the required information. Usually libraries don't issue out these reference sources to the users. Then we have grey literature which is also a kind of information source and gray literature includes unpublished conference reports, unpublished thesis and dissertations, presentations, working papers, notes and logs kept by researchers, academic courseware, company annual reports, project and study reports, institutional reports and technical reports. After second, we talked about primary resources, we talked about secondary resources, after that we have tertiary sources. These are based on primary and secondary sources of information and serve as key to the primary and secondary sources. Tertiary sources are usually compilation from primary or secondary sources and help the researchers to select required information. Some of the examples of tertiary sources are guide to the literature, guide to the reference sources, bibliography of bibliographies. Now we can also arrange sources of information by form paper-based documentary sources and documentary sources on other media. Paper-based documentary sources include sources which are published as print. Published sources are those sources which are printed in large number of copies by publishers. Unpublished sources are not printed, only a few copies are produced which are for restricted circulation. Information sources in different formats serve different purposes. Some of them are used as supporting tools for teaching and learning, some for archival purposes, and some of them are used as storage devices. Different audiovisual aids which one can hear as well as see enhance learning activities. Recorded sources are available in wide range of formats, like we have audio recordings, audio cassettes, 
visual images, slides, film tapes, videotapes, artifacts and relia, optical media, microforms. Electronic media uses electronic technology. Examples are television, radio, internet, CD-ROMs and DVDs as they require electricity or digital encoding of information. Electronic media is the term which is often used in contrast with print media. The screen shows different kinds of electronic media. We have optical storage media too and examples are CD-ROMs and DVDs. Then we have microforms. Microform is a general term for an item, cardboard or film containing miniaturized images of the original document. Microforms are scaled down reproductions of documents made for the purpose of transmission, storage, reading and printing. For example, one microform can contain a whole year's worth of newspapers or more. Specialized equipment is used to view or copy items from a microform. Under microforms, we have microfish and microfilms. The screen shows microfilm and microfish, which are microforms. This is a microfilm, which you can see on the screen. And you need special equipment to read microforms. Then non-documentary sources can be categorized as formal sources of information and informal sources of information. Formal sources include research organizations, societies, and so on. Informal sources include conversation with colleagues, visitors, attendance at professional meetings, etc. Very often, the conversation or discussions would point out primary or secondary sources. Informal sources are live sources, which are extremely important in the process of communication. Very often, if a scientist is working on an experiment, needs some data, he would naturally turn to a colleague working in the same laboratory or in the same area rather than consulting a written or formal source of information. Then we have internet. Internet is a network of global system of interconnected computer networks. IP communication standard is used to address schemes and identify unique connected devices. It is the most effective method of communication. It is hardware. We have World Wide Web. It refers to files, folders, documents, and digital content stored and hosted on various computers. It is governed by HTTP. It depends on internet to work. It is a software. It is a global collection of documents and other resources linked by hyperlinks and URIs. URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. It is a unique sequence of characters which identifies a logical or physical resource. Now, in a recap, we have talked about different sources of information which can be categorized as documentary sources and non-documentary sources. All recorded sources are documentary sources and all non-recorded sources are non-documentary sources. Based on the information and content and organizational level, a documentary source may be primary, secondary, or tertiary source. Based on physical format, a documentary source may be either on paper or on other media or primary sources contain original information and are in large numbers and widely scattered. Some of the examples we talked about, periodicals, technical reports, and so on and so forth. Secondary sources are based on primary sources and present the contents of primary sources in condensed form. We talked about indexing and abstracting services, reference books, reference sources, and we also focused on tertiary sources of information, which are based on primary and secondary sources of information, and these act as key to primary and secondary sources. Then sources of information can also be categorized on the basis of their forms. Documentary sources on other media include photographic, electronic, magnetic, and optical media. Non-documentary sources of information are those sources which are not recorded in any form. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video.